So let me talk about a SOA application first. Okay, so just to uh, compare and give you a how microservice is different from a SOA architecture. Okay, so SOA is nothing but a service oriented architecture. So most of the monolithic applications are in the SOA architecture. That means you are developing application. Okay, at the end you are exposing the application to a external world, right? Uh, via a uh, SOAP UI or a uh, SOAP request or via a REST API, right? Or otherwise, you will write a HTML page, okay? That HTML page will be uh, will be calling a particular API or the URL in the app server and you will be using that, okay? This concept is called as a service-oriented architecture. So this is, uh, uh, if you talk about WebLogic and all these things, they majorly rely on this uh, service oriented architecture. So you host application, the application is going to expose an API and it is going to expose different kinds of APIs for different kinds of action, right? For example, imagine I'm developing a mobile based application. So my mobile, uh, let's take an example of our cab booking, Ola or Uber, okay? So what it does, so I have a uh, application which is sitting on my mobile, uh, uh, sitting on my mobile, when I wanted a cab, what it will do, the Ola will take my current location, okay, and send the location to the uh, server, Ola server, so there it will be listening on an API, okay. For that API, it's going to send me the location, and I'm going to request, provide me the list of cabs around me within a particular kilometer of radius, okay. So then what this uh, uh, Ola server will do, it is going to check so the Ola server, what it will do, it will identify all the drivers who are currently available near my location. It is going to send the detail back to my mobile application. That mobile application is going to list all those server uh, driver details on my mobile app. So this is a typical SOA application architecture where for every action, I will have a individual API generated. Okay, when I want to make a payment, so it will be, I'll be uh, calling the payment um, uh, payment gateway SOA URL and it will be uh, there, it will ask for ask me for the card details and other stuff. When I make the payment, that information will be passed on to the driver and the driver will agree that. Then uh, it, it, it goes for the other processing. So this is a typical SOA application, okay. So let me compare the SOA with the microservice, okay. So, SOA design is a paradigm of computer software where some software components are exposed to the ex uh, external world for a usage of a form of service. So, as in the example I have told, I have multiple service, okay, requesting the, uh, requesting the drivers around me and looking for a payment gateway, okay. And on the high level, microservice is part of a service oriented architecture. Okay. but it is specialized in implementation of the SOA. That means there I have developed different services serving different set of activities. We'll see that in detail. Okay, so if you see that in the cab booking application, if you want to build an application using SOA, then software unit will be, I will have a, um, a component for get payment, driver information and mapping data and authentication users and drivers, okay. But in the microservice ar uh, architecture, I will have five different service, which basically submit payment service and get, get driver info service, get mapping data service, authenticate user and authenticate driver service. So I will have individual services pertaining to the specific business unit of the application. Okay, this is the difference between SOA and microservice, okay? And in SOA, business units are dependent on each other. So SOA will be a monolithic application, okay? There all the application will be sitting as a single application, but in microservices, all the business units will have a separate service. Like for example, driver management will be a separate service, consumer management will be a separate service, okay? And the size of the SOA application is tend to be bigger, okay? And the size of the microservice application will be smaller. And 
technology stack is will be single right in a soa application if i develop the application on java all the services i will be writing in java okay let's say i have a better functionality in go okay i want to use this service this particular payment gateway via go that may not be really possible in a soa architecture but in microservices you are allowed to do that you can use as many as services possible for authenticating the drivers i can use python for authenticating the users i can use java so whichever technology seems to be giving that functionality i can use the respective services there so this is the use of the microservice architecture autonomous uh, and focus so applications are built to perform multiple business tasks but microservices are built to perform only particular task okay if payment gateway means it can do only payment gateway okay but in the soa architecture one service can be doing multiple jobs okay and nature soa is purely monolithic in nature and microservices full stack in nature okay and deployment it is going to be time consuming and there are lots of manual efforts needed in the deployment but uh, in microservices the deployments are very very easy and you can automate them very well okay and cost effectiveness soa is cost effective comparatively but microservice is not but the functionality wise it is a lot better okay so scalability is not available in soa it is available but not that much effective but in microservices scalability is fully done